Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you the use of PMT and the IPMT function in Excel to calculate the principal and interest on loan payment. Calculating the amount of principal you have paid lets you determine the amount of equity you have in a purchase. So that is actual amount of money that you are paying against the price of the property. That could be the down payment plus any principal that you have paid plus the appreciation on the property if there has been any. Interest, on the other hand, is often tax deductible, so it can help to calculate the amount of interest that you have paid and also if you change your monthly payment, how much interest you might be saving. In this video, I'll show you how to calculate the principal and the interest components of any loan payment. I have set up a worksheet with the information that we we'll need to know. So first, in cell C3, we have the rate of interest we would be paying on the loan and this is the annual rate of interest and in cell C4 we have the total number of payments we would be making in one year which is also called periods per year and that would be 12 so it's obviously the monthly payments and in cell C5 we are going to look at a specific period the first time we do it we'll look at period 1 in other words the first payment and we'll change that as we go to see how principal and interest change next we need to know the total number of periods in this case it's 360 and at 12 periods per year we see that it's a 30 year loan so it's probably a mortgage next is the present value that's the amount we are borrowing so 4 million dollars next is the future value and that is the amount left over at the end of the loan. That could be a positive number, which means that we would have to make a balloon payment or refinance at the end because we hadn't paid off everything. Or it could be a negative number, which means that you have overpaid and would receive the money back. In almost every case though, the future value will be zero and we have it here. Type indicates whether the loan is due at the beginning of the period in which case you see 1 or at the end of the period in which case you type 0. Almost every loan is set up so payments occur at the end of the period so interest can accrue so the type will 0. Future value and type are optional arguments here. So the first payment now I'm going to go in cell C11 and show you how to calculate the principal component. So type in equal sign and then type PPMT left parenthesis and you can see all the arguments we need to calculate the principal. First is the rate of interest. Since this is an annual rate of interest, we will divide by the number of payments we'll be making in that year. So that's cell C4, comma, and the period for which we would we would want to know the principal we would be paying on the loan. So cell C5. Then the number of periods we would be using to pay off the total loan and cell C6, comma, our present value, which is the amount of loan we would be borrowing either from businesses or banks. Future value and type in our case is zero. So I'll just enter that here. Since we are making payments at the end of the month, we are using type zero. Right parenthesis, enter. You see that the total principal we would be paying on our loan uh, in first month is $2,683.92 and this is a negative number because it's a cash outflow and it would be going out from your bank account. If you want to see this as a positive number, I will double click it and you would just have to put a negative sign in front of the formula and you'll get a positive number. So to calculate the interest component, what I'll do is just copy this formula and paste it here with one small adjustment instead of ppmt function i will use ipmt function and you will have the interest as twenty six thousand six hundred and sixty six dollars sixty seven cents to make this a positive number you'll just put a negative sign in front of the formula and you'll have it as a positive number so the first payment is almost all interest with very little principal. If you want to see how the ratio will change over time, you can change the period. So instead of period one, 
let's say that we go to period 120, one third of the way through the loan. So in cell C5, I'll type 120 and press enter. And we see that principal is close to $6,000 and interest is has also changed to $23,432.71. If we go to period 240, two thirds of the way through the loan, and as I just entered the value in cell C5, press enter, we see that we are paying more of our principal than interest. And we look, and if we look at the last payment, so in cell C5, I'll type 360 we see that we are paying off a lot of principal with very little interest left and that's and that makes sense we have paid off most of our principal so the amount of interest that we still owe or that accumulated based on the principal remaining will be much smaller thank you